Hello and welcome to another Red Maple Adventure. Today I'm going to show you how you can uh, clone or reprogram your uh, TPMS sensors on your VinFast uh, VF8. I've got my rims, I've got my tires uh, in the back here, uh, but to get all ready to go to the uh, tire shop, have to uh, I want to uh, clone my TPMS sensors, uh, so I'll show you how to do that. Uh, so your first step camera on here is to purchase uh, one of these uh, TPMS uh, tools. Uh, this is the Autel uh, New Generation TPMS Service Tool TS508WF uh, with the Wi-Fi and registration update. Uh, I will mention that when you get the tool, uh, you will have to connect it to your uh, Wi-Fi and update it to use the uh, to update it to uh, download the latest uh, um, package for the uh, for the tool uh, out of the box uh, VinFast uh, is not uh, listed uh, however uh, after you do the update uh, it shows up so here you are uh, I was already scrolling through so it remembers uh, where I left off so here we are 114 VinFast and even if you hit yes you get the option for VF8 uh, VF9 even, and uh, not sure what the E34 is, but uh, we're VF8. And in case you weren't sure, this is normally where you would select your uh, year range, but uh, the VinFast VF8 purchased, or, or I guess uh, produced, I should say, uh, from January 2022 to uh, December of uh, 2024. And uh, you want to make sure you get sensors that are in the uh, 315 megahertz uh, range. So on the topic of sensors, I've got my four sensors here, all labeled, ready to go. Uh, I know most people do maybe uh, front, right, front, left. Uh, I was a bit different. I did like passenger, front, uh, passenger, rear, driver, front, driver, rear. So like all my sensors have these, uh, yeah, like passenger front. But as I say, just want to make sure you get these uh, Autel supported uh, uh, sensors uh, that support the 315 uh, megahertz uh, range. Uh, so your next step uh, is to go in and... Uh, learn uh, each uh, sensor here so I'll show you how to do that uh, in the next uh, video. Okay now that we're out of the vehicle the next step is to go around to every tire and uh, basically clone the sensor or read the data into uh, the tool. So I'm going to do that right now so we want to go to the advanced mode here. So just scroll hit the S uh, VinFast, uh, as I showed before, is here, so yes. VF8, yes. This is our year range, 350 megahertz, yes. And I'm going to go to TPMS Diagnostics. And it's giving me all this information. Hit yes. So I'm here at the uh, first tire here. So this is uh, the center button here is what uh, reads the data. So let me just go to uh, right by the valve stem here. Oh, perfect. So we got my reading here, KPA 238. Next is showing me to go to the uh, passenger front. So let me just go there next. Oh, here we are. <laughs> to find location. Great, got the data right here. Next, passenger rear. Again, just push the button. Got our reading and our last tire here, uh, driver rear. Need a bit of a car wash. Perfect. So a bit of difference in pressure. Saw my ID quickly show up there. Now this also would be for your spare tire. Uh, I don't have that, so I'm just going to skip it for now, but uh, that uh, completes our uh, procedure outside the vehicle. So let me uh, pop inside. Okay, so just to show you here, I uh, have my positional data here. It even gives you temperatures. Uh, batteries are okay, which is great. The uh, pressure readings. SP, again, a spare tire, so uh, we don't need to worry about that. If you did have a spare tire that had a sensor, I mean, they don't even give you a spare for the VinFast, but uh, at least uh, the tool uh, supports it. So we'll just hit any key to continue. 
Okay, so now we can go back to the previous screen by hitting the uh, power button. Now I'm going to do copy by activation. And I'm just going to go over this table here. So I'll copy by activation. Let me put the sensors down. And we'll do yes. So we have our left front. So let me just organize these. So driver front, which is left front, driver rear, passenger front, passenger rear. So essentially this is kind of how everything is uh, set up to match the uh, sensor here. So let's do LF sensor ID copy for left front. Yeah. So now we've got to put our sensor into the reader. Oh, let's see, there you go. So I got to make sure all these are, let me move them further away from the table here. So that could be a problem. Something to keep in mind. Let me try this again. Then fast. Yes. Oh, program sensor. Yes. Copy by activation. Left front. Programming. Perfect. So I now have my left front sensor cloned. So that's driver's front, left front. So let me, now I'm gonna have to uh, move these away. I'll repeat this step. So it's giving us some information. Install the program sensor to the corresponding tire. LF sensor, yes. Okay, great. So now we're ready for right front. So let me get that ready here. Right front, or in my case, passenger front. Let's put that in here. Hit yes, passenger front. Right front, yes to copy. Let it do its thing. Programming. Programming successful, testing sensor. Got our details, any key to continue. Install it in the right front, yes. So again, you wanna make sure these are all pre-labeled. Now it's time for passenger rear or right rear. Yes. Make sure, I'm just actually gonna put it right on top. Yep, perfect. Right rear, yes. And our last one. And lastly, left rear or in my case driver rear so scroll down hit yes make sure it's close perfect we're all set three kilopascals obviously because <laughs> there's a no uh, pressure maybe a bit of pressure inside that plastic bag but there you go Yep, install in your left rear, of course, and we don't have a spare tire, and you get all these nice uh, indicators here that your sensors have been programmed, and then end to exit. So there we are. Now back in the uh, warmth of the vehicle and have all these four TPMS sensors all labeled and uh, ready to go. So let's uh, get these rims and uh, tires installed. The other thing that uh, you just want to make sure is when you get your kit, um, there are some other spare sensors. You want to make sure those are far away from you as well. Uh, I'll show you some details on these uh, rims. Uh, these uh, I ordered off uh, blackcircles.ca. Uh, they meet the uh, exact uh, manufacturer uh, specifications for VinFast in terms of uh, offset, uh, the uh, the uh, borehole, uh, etc. So um, these rims, alloy rims, um, are exact uh, uh, fit for the VinFast. So let me uh, head off to the tire shop and uh, get all this uh, installed with these uh, 
pre-programmed sensors. And the great thing again is because we've cloned our sensors and we have to make sure that uh, we label the tires appropriately, but uh, there's no relearning needed in terms of the vehicle. Essentially just as the, new, the other, uh, as these uh, sensors and the new tires get put on, just as the car regularly checks the tire pressures, it's gonna detect the tire pressures of these uh, winter tires and it will just update automatically. So no reprogramming needed at VinFast. And in fact, uh, this step here, uh, you only have to do the once if you're cloning, which I just did. So we're, uh, we're essentially um, good to go. Uh, and if uh, anyone in the Toronto area here is uh, interested, uh, I'll uh, you know leave some uh, contact details. So certainly willing to help out some other uh, VinFast owners in the Toronto area if you want to purchase these uh, Autel uh, sensors off Amazon and uh, need me to come and help you program, just uh, let me know. Uh, so let's uh, head off to the tire shop. Definitely need a car wash, but uh, got the uh, alloy rims on with the winter tires and the sensors all look great. I'll put a link to these rims in the uh, video description below, but uh, definitely gonna be great rims for the winter. And I got them done here at uh, Tire Mart. And a check in here in the vehicle. So the TPMS sensors are uh, reading just fine off the uh, four winter tires. So again, no reprogramming needed uh, on the VinFast. And again, if you are just uh, swapping your winter tires uh, and keeping the same rims and the same sensors, uh, you also don't need to worry about reprogramming. The vehicle will just uh, pick up and read the uh, pressure settings uh, as you drive. So uh, here we are and uh, all set once again for uh, the winter and uh, spring can't uh, come soon enough. So I hope this video helped. And if so, please uh, like and subscribe and share. Bye for now.